Hey guys, Matt here. Welcome back to another Malware Bytes 3.0 video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to go ahead and download Malware Bytes, configure it, and then um, test it out against some fresh malware I picked up today. So let's go ahead and get started. This uh, shouldn't take too long. Let's go to uh, malwarebytes.com. Malware.com, Malwarebytes, download. Now we're going to download version 3, just a trial of it. And uh, from my last video, my last video, um, it was it started going well. It was, it was going good. And then uh, the cord for the microphone fell out. So I've checked my cord now. I'm looking at it now. It's, it's in there tight. So I should have audio throughout this whole video. Yeah. That sucked. I was really looking forward to um, having a good Malwarebytes 3.0 intro video, and I didn't have time to redo it because I've had so many clients lately, and uh, I'm just now free. <sighs> so, anyway, let's see what happens. We'll just go ahead and uh, choose defaults. And there are some good notes in here, too. Um... You might not want to just skip past those. When you get time, read through them. It kind of you know, tells you what up upgrades they've made to uh, version 3. We're actually using uh, version 3.0.6. All right. And, okay, I, I better finish this uh, review because my trial uh, ends in five days. So, uh, once again, Malwarebytes 3.0, faster, better scans, layered real-time protection against malware, ransomware, exploits, and malicious websites. Next generation uh, detection technologies proactively block ransomware exploit attacks without the need for signatures. A new user interface. And then you can click more to uh, learn more. So, obviously. We'll go ahead and check for an update. Looks like we're getting one. Okay, good. We're done there. Let's go through some of the options. Obviously, we can do a scan. The threat scan is just a common scan that uh, detects most of the places where malware hides. Hyperscan just looks at memory uh, and some startup areas. I Threat scan is usually fast enough for me. Custom, custom scan is where I usually go for a client, a new client. I'll do a custom scan, I'll configure it, and scan for rootkits. Leave these the way they are, and I'll select C and scan now. Uh, if you have something quarantined, maybe you have something legitimate or something you... Uh, don't want to be quarantined. You can select it and hit restore, or if you've got a quarantine full of crap, you can select them all and hit delete. Reports. You can go ahead and look at logs for different scans and things that have happened in the past few days. Settings. All right. Let's go through some of these. Under application, those are fine. Protection, we're going to go ahead and scan for rootkits. Uh, we will treat pups, potentially unwanted programs, as malware, and pums, potentially unwanted modifications, as uh, malware recommended. Check for updates every hour. It's good. Um, we're going to leave that off. Delay real-time protection when Malwarebytes starts. No, we want to be protected as soon as my computer starts and Malwarebytes starts. So leave that off. Enable self-protection module on early start. Yes, it's going to slow down your boot. It'll slow down your login process. But it will make sure that Malwarebytes is protected against early starting malware. So Scan schedule. Kind of self exploit Planetary, I suppose. You can go ahead and click Add and customize your own scan schedule and add some options right there. Exclusions. 
I use this. I exclude a number of uh, hard drives that I have. It says exclude a file or fo folder, but you can actually choose a hard drive. I have, um, I don't know, four SSDs, and um, these four SSDs contain various games because I'm a massive gamer, so I don't like to have my game scanned by Malwarebytes, so I exclude them. All right. My account gives you um, details on your Malwarebytes account. And you can activate your license right there, right there. They make it very easy for you to activate. Also, if you want to go ahead and activate your trial, it's not that much, I don't think. It's, I think it's like uh, 30 bucks or 40. 40. 40 a year. Way worth it. I use it. My Malwarebytes is turned off right now. It's so effective that it actually looks inside these virtual machines and, and jacks around with my reviews. So I have to turn it off when I'm doing these reviews. Um, under About, you have all these little uh, links like company website, support, guides, their blog. So that's it. That's the interface in a nutshell. It's super simple. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and grab some malware here. <sighs> what do we got? What do we got? I've got uh, delivery details. It is a zip. It's an archive. If I open it up, we have no, det no detections yet. And for some damn reason, Windows Defender is active. Hang on, let me pause this and turn Windows Defender off. Now, I like how Windows Defender will detect a damn thing, but uh, Malwarebytes has no clue what it is until I double click on it, which I think is kind of hokey. I, I would like to right click and scan these guys. You know, no, nothing, no, looks okay. I mean, I think that's just kind of crazy. Windows Defender, a free antivirus can detect this as being bad, but Malwarebytes can't. I wish that somebody from Malwarebytes would watch this video and say, hey, you know, this is a reason why we don't detect it, and blah, blah, blah. I mean, they know better than me. I'm, I'm just bitching, that's all. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and open it. I have no doubt that Malwarebytes will block the website or the connection once I execute the script. I've seen this a lot. And there you go. So that file, that script, tried to get the Windows script host to run. And is it running in the background? I don't know. I doubt it'll show me anything, but let's see. Application frame host.exe. I don't know. This is something I normally don't see. Let's see it under Billy Bob. I probably should <laughs> I probably should know what these are but I don't um, open file location uh, okay it's legit so yeah I can't tell if anything's really running or if it got past malware bytes or, or anything like that I, I don't think so I think malware bytes pretty much blocks the connection and, and this guy Basically, what he'll do is download um, additional malware or ransomware or whatever. So get rid of that. Next thing we have is um, a download for iTunes that I got from a Yahoo search. Yahoo.com allows all kinds of shady people to uh, advertise um, on their sponsored results. So if I tried to install this, this would install probably with a bunch of potentially unwanted programs, also known as crapware, bundleware, uh, adware, spyware, whatever. I'm betting that's what's going to happen. Let's see. What do you know? Potentially unwanted program. Uh, this was going to install pup.optional.installcore, whatever the hell that is. Went to our quarantine. Next. We have a website 
that just got sent to one of my managers at work. Let's see what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. JavaScript required will allow block content. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Hmm. Put in your American Express. Right here, you got a nice little. Yeah. Nice little uh, way to steal your American Express card. This uh, was not detected that I can tell by Malwarebytes. This would really piss me off if that manager put in his American Express card. Shitty. Hmm. Well, there you go, Malwarebytes. Figure that shit out. Don't let my uh, users open stuff like this. All right, next we have more probably script malware. Yep. Delivery details again. It's probably the same thing. Uh, goes to a different dot top site. It's blocked by uh, Malwarebytes uh, web scanner. Okay. And finally, we have a YouTube downloader setup. Let's go ahead and try to scan that before we install it. Malwarebytes has no clue what it is until you execute it. That seems to be how Malwarebytes, Malwarebytes runs. It just, I don't know what it is until you execute it and try to install it on the system. And then it takes care of business, as far as I can tell. So, uh, that's kind of my part two video of Malwarebytes 3.0. Let me know what you think. I kind of think that they could do a better job on scanning inside of files. That's my opinion so far. Um, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Um, share it. Uh, if you think my videos are worth like a dollar a month or something, support me on Patreon. All those links are in the description below. Um, the next few videos will probably be some utility videos, some how-to kind of stuff. And then um, I will be doing, um, if you look to the right, there's my gaming channel on the right. I'll probably be doing some more Seven Days to Die um, on, on uh, my gaming channel pretty soon here. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it, as always. I'll uh, talk to you later.